In this video, we're going to learn the three summation formulas that you see on screen, one, two, and three. In the previous video, we talked all about summation notation. What does this mean? You know, these sums. We really broke it down, so if that looks intimidating to you, go back and watch that video so that you can get a good sense of what that notation means. Now we're going to actually learn some formulas to be able to use this notation. Okay, so here it says, the very first formula says if we're summing a constant n many times, then the, the, the sum of that constant is just n times c. So let's see an example here. Suppose we wanted to sum i goes from 1 to 5, the number 7. Well, according to our formula, we have an n here and an n here. And we have a C here and a C here. And in our problem, 5 is the N and 7 is the C. So all we have to do is 5 times 7, or in other words, N times C, according to the formula. And that's just 35. Okay, easy enough. Uh, maybe one more example, just really quickly. Suppose we wanted to do i equals 1 to 100 of 4. Well, according to the formula, we just are going to do 100 times 4, which is 400. And one thing I want to point out real quick is that this was much, much, much nicer than doing something like 4 plus 4 plus 4 a hundred times, right? We didn't have to write this whole thing out a hundred times just to do 4 plus 4 a hundred times. We just have this nice summation notation here and a nice formula for it, and we get the, our answer really quickly, 400. Okay, how about an example for the next uh formula so now we're summing up i itself so this is a sum and let's let me just remind you let's do an example here i equals one to let's say 10 of i so just as a reminder what does this mean this means one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus all the way up to oops all the numbers up to 10 we're adding every number up to 10 Okay, but we don't actually need to write this out and add these up. We have a nice formula for this. And the formula is here. And it says, if we look at the formula, this formula only has an n in it. Here's n. We have to do n times n plus 1 over 2. Okay, well, in our case, n is 10. So we have to do 10 times 10 plus 1 all over 2. And this is uh, 10 times 11 is 110 over 2 is 55. And if you need to do some more work for this, write some work on scratch paper, use a calculator, that's fine. But the, the point of this is instead of doing 1 plus 2 plus all the way up to 10, we just used a nice formula and got the answer very quickly by doing a quick multiplication and a division. And we don't have to stop at 10. Why don't we, you know, we could... Uh, do other examples, but actually, why don't we why don't we save that for now and uh, and and move on to the next formula so this video this video doesn't drag on for too long. Okay, so an example now. What if we need to sum i squared? So let's go ahead and let's just say i equals one to three of i squared. So let me remind you what this is. This is one squared plus two squared plus three squared i is going from 1 to 3, and we're just squaring it and adding it up. Okay, but instead of actually having to do all these squares and write out this addition, we have a formula now. And the formula says, here is n. The formula says do n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have, in our case, n is 3. So we have 3 times 3 plus 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1, all over 6. So we'll go ahead and do a little bit more work to simplify this. So this is 
3 times 4 times 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So times 7 all over 6. And I'm going to do a little trick here to save myself a little bit of work. This is 3 times 2 times 2 times 7 all over 6. So all I did there was I took this 4 and broke it down into 2 times 2. And the reason I did that is because now I have 3 times 2, which is 6, will cancel with this 6. And what I'm left with is 2 times 7, or in other words, 14. Okay. So using that formula, we did a quick multiplication, a little bit of simplification, that division by 6, and we got down to 14. So overall, this formula is useful, especially if n is really big. In this case, we probably could have done it by hand faster, but imagine another example where we had something like, let's say, the sum, i goes from 1 to 1,000 of i squared. Well, now this is 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus all the way to 1,000 squared. And no, we do not want to do that by hand. It will be much easier just to plug a thousand into this formula and simplify. And as always, if you need a calculator or you need to do some work out on the side, uh, do some scratch work, that's no big deal. Don't worry about that, as long as you understand these formulas and how to apply them. Okay, before I leave you, I just want to say one thing, which is you may be wondering, or you may have been assigned a much more difficult problem than one of these three. You may have been assigned something like i goes from 1 to n of, let's say, 2i plus 5. And you might be wondering, how do I do this? Because you didn't give me a formula for 2i plus 5. You just gave me a formula for i squared, i, and a constant. Well, in the next video, we'll learn... Uh, a couple of properties of sums that will let us take this more complicated thing, 2i plus 5, and break it down into one of these three formulas. In fact, that will be our strategy for, t for more complex sums, is we'll use some nice properties, some nice rules, that let us take anything complicated and break it down into one of these three. Okay, so if you're curious how to do that, stick around for the next video. We'll see you then.